Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to make an outline around an image on Photoshop. If you want to make a border around an image for like a thumbnail on YouTube or whatever the case may be. All right, first we want to go into Photoshop and then File, Open. Pick whatever image you're wanting to do. I'm going to be using this for example today. Uh, I'm going to press Control and the plus sign to zoom in so we can make it more accurate. Also on my mouse settings, uh, I'm having the sensitivity all the way down to 700. So the mouse doesn't move too quickly, it'll be a little more accurate. First thing I'm gonna do is go to your pen tool right here, just the regular pen tool. And we are going to click around the edge of the image and we're just gonna follow around like so. The more points you make, the more accurate it's going to be. And then you can decide for detailed spots like this, how, how detailed you want to make it. I'm not going to go too crazy detail around the edges of the hair. But that would be up to you. And just finish going all the way around the image. All right, and there we go. Uh, if you make a mistake or whatever, you can just press Control Z almost as many times as you want to back up. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna connect here. Now we're gonna decide what our border around it is gonna look like. We're going to fill it in. We're using the brush. So we wanna select a brush tool. This is just selecting what we want it to look like. Um, we have the size of the circle, whatever you put here, if you go over, you can see this is how big it would be at that size. We'll start at, that's pretty small, go a little bigger than that. That looks good. There's other settings on here as well, and all kinds of brushes here you can use. I'm just going to simply use the hard round. And then um, over here, you pick whatever color you want. I'm just going to do white, and then once you have that set, you want to go back to your pen tool, right click on anywhere on that border you just made, then hit stroke path, make sure brush is selected here, and then hit OK, and it's just going to fill that in with whatever you selected from the brush tool. If you don't like that, if you want to make it smaller or bigger, you just press Control Z, and then you go back to your brush and make whatever adjustments you want. Like I think that's a little too big. I'll take it, make it a little bit smaller. Go back to your pen tool, do the same thing. Stroke path, brush, okay. And there you go. Now, to get rid of the background, just gonna simply right click anywhere outside of what you just did and create a vector mask. And that'll cut everything up in the background. And then you click on your move tool and you click on this. If you want to, you can save it at this point. Just make sure you save it as a PNG so it will have the blank background. If you have whatever you're going to use open, like I have a blank canvas right here, um, you can just simply click on it, press Control C, and then click on here, and then press Control V. Big image. I'm going to size this down quite a bit. Actually, what I should do. First, let's take this image, control minus to go back, zoom out, and I'm going to go to crop, and I'm going to crop down as much as much of the background as I can. And then press enter or press the check mark, check mark. And now I'm going to click and copy and paste again. And then now with, while you're selecting the image, press Control T, and this will give you the, the box around it so you can make your adjustments. Without cropping it, this would be like way up here off the screen. You'd have to be doing a lot of moving around to get to it or zoom way out. Now I'm gonna size it down, or we can, like I said, you can zoom way out too. So you can simply do that. Again. <clears throat> And there you go. Make whatever adjustments you want. And there you have it. 
So that's what it's like on a black back, back a black background. Change it to whatever whatever color you want, of course, and add whatever else in you want. Um, while you're selected on here, after pressing Control T, if you're over outside of your box, you can adjust it that way as well. All right, so that is all for this video. Be sure to check out my other videos on Photoshop and tips and how to's on other things as well. Uh, like and subscribe if you like my video, didn't support me, and goodbye.